my name is Cree Baker. I live in the city of Detroit. If we didn't pay them, we didn't have them. So lights, gas, water are necessities. But what if I don't have a job and I have kids? What if I don't have the money and my kids suffer? I had to buy water. It was a very inconvenience. It was embarrassing. You know, um, I try not to get stuff cut off. But then when you're paying your bills, you know things are okay. And they just did it to get my attention. That was not the way to do it. Um, stating that I didn't have a meter. I didn't know. Um, but just to cut the water off and then don't say anything. And then when I call, they say, well, you have to come in Monday. I think that I was devastated more so than anything. I'm like, I can't believe this. It's really happened to my husband. Prior to the pandemic, um, it was just normal life. I have four children, um, two are in high school. Um, I was working at the time. And then um, I um, previously lost her job. Um, so I needed the assistance. I was devastated. I mean, anybody that wants to be successful in life and then find that, you know, something happens. The one thing I can say about that though is that I never give up. Um, the assistance that the thought program provided was excellent for me, but it does not stop the idea of me actually, you know, going in to find, to seek employment. During the pandemic, yes, I have, but at the same time, I had to be a positive parent to take care of my children to make sure that their success in education was taken care of. I was ecstatic. I was grateful. Um, to this day, I appreciate thought and those that donate to thought. I appreciate DTE. I appreciate my governor for having these type of programs in place. We have to help our people, but in the same token, sometimes we hit a brick wall. And why should I have to pay for the pipes and things like that when I'm on struggle mode? When I'm struggling myself, how can I get the help that I need? So if you want me to pay for the pipes that you want to replace, if you want to pay, want me to pay as a constituent for the LED lights that the city needs, then give me something for my bill. Then explain it to me that's attractive to me and not putting me down to say, I'm in a lower bracket. I'm not taking, you know, you have, it's the language that we use. It's the deliverance of what we're offering that we have to be careful with because I find constituents can be very sensitive about needing help and then be very prideful not to get the help. How can we come together and get the help for the entire Michigan niche? I mean, can't we all just come together?